yo, what is up cjct.online Welcome to the level 4 video tutorial In this video tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a little fun animal farm game Alright, so without further ado, let's get started Open up Eclipse Okay, so just like a level 3 video, you would want to import another Java scanner So how to do that? import java.util.scanner and then semicolon okay once you've done that you public class and hello world oops open up a curly bracket alright so in this public static void you don't want to Put pub, like the previous public static void. In this public static void, you want to put public static void, and this will be commanding the console to put the animal and make its designated sound. So first things first, we will be coding four different farm animals, which is pig. Okay, pig a cow, a duck, a sheep, and a chicken. Alright, so first let's code the sound of the cow. So public static void and you want to say say moo, okay? So that's the sound of a, a cow. Say moo. And once you've done that you want to open and close bracket and open up a curly bracket. And below here, below the public static void you want to do system output and type in in quotes moo okay so that's one now once you've done that you want to do another public static void for each of the animals so this public static void oops void will be for a pig so let's say say public static void say oink Once you've done that, open another curly bracket, system output, and you want to just boink like that. Okay, so we have three more farm animals. So you just keep doing the same steps for each of the animals. Static void, say quack for a duck. Open up a curly bracket. System output, quack, just to save some time, public side of voids, instead of quack, for this one, you want to say nye, for like a sheep, So, public static void, nay. Okay. And in here, you also want to type in nay. And you want to have another. Okay. Now we have one more public static void. Say ba. So, public static void, say ba. Oops. Ba. There you go. I can't type. Then in here, also want to say ba, and then end it with another curly bracket. All right. So once you've done all this public static void with the inputs of the animal sound, what you want to do now is you want to do our normal public static void main string args. Okay. So after that, public static void main string close args and you want to open up a curly bracket okay so once you've done that under there you want to put in a system output 
And in that system output, you can say, hello, what animal would you like to hear? You can change that if you want to something different, something similar along those lines. So once you do that, this is where you want to input your scanner. So you want to do scanner input equals new scanner bracket system dot in. Okay. Ooh, this looks incorrect. Equals. Let's see what I did wrong. Scanner input equals new scanner system dot in. Scanner input equals new scanner. Oh, okay. Misplaced. Is it? I'll cut this part out. Ah, my bad. Okay, so you wanna, <laughs> oops, there we go. Sorry about that. So, once you've done your scanner, you wanna now input a string. All right, so how a string works is you wanna put in string choice, then you wanna put equals input dot to the next, next line. All right, now we're gonna do if statements. So this, what we will be putting in the tab is if statements. So for instance, if we write in, in the console pig, it will say oink, and then if we say cow, it'll say moo, and etc. All right, so without further ado, let's start off with the if statement. So if choice of the user choice dot equals and then ignore which means it can be either lower or capital ignore case so and then once you do that if ignore case and you want to add in another bracket if ignore case when quotes so if the user says pig open up a curly bracket say oink you got that okay so after this it's else if statements which is basically the same thing as if statements so if choice dot equals ignore case says how Open up a curly bracket, say moo. All right, let me just copy and paste this to make things a bit faster. So after cow, we have duck. If duck, say quack. Mm -hmm. And now, after this, after duck, there's a sheep, and sheep say ba. And last but not least, last also statement if it says, if user types in chicken says yay okay so all right what is okay so this is the code our final code 
for this level four project. So let's run it and I'll walk you through the code. So hello, what animal would you like to hear? So let's start off with the first one. I want to hear pig. Oops. So I want to hear pig. All right. In the pig, you type in pig. It will say oink. So next, say you want to hear a cow. Moo. Duck. Quack. Mm, sheep. Ba, and lastly, chicken. Yeah. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, have any questions or concerns? Feel free to comment or email me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the level five video. Peace out.